right. Now, I counted mine. I have nine threads. You can do measurements. However you want to do it. This thing is going to alignment shop immediately after this job. So. But just want to get this loose. So we can pull this end off. So should be good. That is a 15 16. I already pulled the wheels off. So now I'm going to go after this lower ball joint. Terrible. Lighting is terrible. Nothing I can do about it. Hot sunny day. I'm going to do this one. Put some uh, bluebird on it. I'll probably do. I'm going to get a metal brush. Make sure these threads are clean. If you plan on reusing it, I would go through the extra step. It won't hurt nothing. There you go. Here's all. Now, fun part getting these two attached. Right, so we're gonna try to do this on camera without hiding the truth of the pain it can be. So I had to pick a fork in. I'm not really intending on using it. Um, let's see, should be able to just hit this. So all you have to do is hit this and it pops right out. So you, so you don't have to destroy your boot and all that other stuff. This one's out. And, uh, not too bad. It's a non-greasable, which sucks. So those two flat ends right here. Let's sit better get a wrench on that. Let's see what size that is. It's like one inch. Yeah, I'm correct. What a guess. Alright, so we're going one inch and a 15 millimeter for the threads on that. Yeah, I haven't got it yet, but I think the trick is going to be got this wrench wedged underneath the sway bar holding it in place so then I can get the one inch on the outside uh, yeah it's going Whew. first I was thinking well you can always chop it off and buy some new outers but Looks like we'll be able to save them. Yeah, yeah. The other side works out because it has to spin the opposite direction. Just gonna watch your bolt on your ball joint and tie rod in make sure it doesn't hit your boot and rip it right open so keep an eye on that bolt when you're spinning it around because trust me it does hit it you have to kind of pull it back that way I have a feeling this is going to be a while so put this in fast forward
Look at it. Get some blast around here, try to clean these threads up. The brush. This nut is super hard to move. Sprayed my camera with the PB blaster. Nice going. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt to get this one off. This one was pretty stubborn too. Yeah, damn. and repeat on the other side and hopefully this is friendly so tools needed one inch 15 millimeter 15 16 all right sledgehammer i think that was it let me get the other side done Film and see is it. Then we reach the part again. Well, this one had four threads. Oh, this got to go first. The new one did not come with it. Save your old one. Thank God I did. about right there like I said it's gonna get alignment so I'm just trying to get it close seen on the internet one thing I could find is this being a 70 foot pounds so I gotta put this on 70 foot pounds and this doesn't have to be preloaded to utilize this I can tell already it's spinning so, 21 millimeter and we're gonna figure out what that is and it's a 10 mil Thank <laughs> you. 
tightening. I'm just gonna tighten this one. And this was a one inch right here. I'm not gonna torque this down, I'm gonna make sure it's tight, but I'm not gonna torque it because it's gonna go get alignment. Sixteen, so it's done. Off to the other side, and should be good. Get the, the other one done. Exact same process. The other one had seven threads. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So this has four. The other side seven. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put the tire on this one, and then I'll knock out the other side real quick. Okay. 